Hey, it's me, Sarah. Welcome back to Soul Creative. We're here to make one of these booklets using a bank envelope. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we're going to make one of these booklets using a bank envelope or um, a money envelope that you, you know, usually you get it from the bank. So that's why I'm saying bank envelope. So if you have any of those, we're going to decorate them up. If you have the ones from the, or if you have any plain, I have plain ones. So it's what I'm going to use, but you can use the ones from the bank. So, first off, we're going to use some digitals to cover this up, and I'm going to continue using some of Antique Papery that I got here. I'm going to use... Use these ones. Let me give you a good look at them. Here's that one, this one, and I don't think I'm gonna use these ones. So, okay, so we're gonna use these ones and we'll just get started. So, first off, what we need to do is I'm going to go around and ink up this envelope. You can do this last, but I'm just going to go ahead and get most of it out of the way. You do not need to ink this up. I'm just doing what I'm doing. Now I put a flip on this, the booklet in my December daily, but I'm not going to do that with this one. I'm just going to give you a basic idea of how to do this. And then you can run with it and do your own take on it. It's however you choose to do it. So, okay, then what we need to do is we're going to take a paper trimmer. I just have a little card making one. And we just need to cut off the very bottom of the envelope. And believe it or not, that's what keeps that together. So, okay, then I'm going to cut off this very, like this tab right here. I'm going to cut that off. I can get my... Give my hand to work with me. Okay, so then I'm going to ink up the bottom here. I'm 
Mm, get the top off of here. Okay, so then we're going to do the whole inside again. Ink it up. And I found when it comes to inking, if you have a multiple layer and not just a one layer to ink up, it's so much easier to apply the ink. So that's why I'm folding it up like I am. And you do not have to ink this like I said before. You can use a different ink. I'm using green. I just think it's more of a neutral color and not brown. Okay. So now that we got that all done up, this is how this goes. Because we're going to use the sticky part that's already on the envelope as our closure. So I got this one already. Except for the inking part. I just want to get rid of the white. So we'll put that there. Well now we need to figure out what we're going to put in the other spots. <clears throat> I think I'm going to go with this right here. And then, probably don't need that one. So let me get rid of this white edge. That's not quite donut. Here, we're going to leave it on the project. I don't want to go into Santa Claus, so we're just going to go ahead and rip it right there. Well, we can save that and figure out where we're going to now tear it off. Now on my envelope, a little bit of the adhesive is over there, so I'm going to leave a little bit lower, and that's why. Alright, so that'll go there. Now, you got to take... You can take different things, like, let me see if I can find it. This is masking paper, and 
just go ahead. See how long our rip some of that off of there. See how much there is? And it's only five, six, ten bucks at the most. I mean, you can find it fairly cheap. We're going to line the inside of the envelope. Now you can add extra, uh, you can ink around this, you can stitch around it, add embellishments to it, whatever you like, but I'm just going to show you the basic part. I do like to sew around it normally, that just, I really like the look that it gives, but just to give you the basic look of this. We'll just go ahead and lay this down. And it doesn't matter. It does not have to be perfect. Uh, I can't seem to get... With thinner paper, it's, it's harder to rip. that ripped like that. Go ahead, and go ahead and just lay that down like that. Put that up in that corner. <clears throat> put that there. We'll put this here. And what we're going to do is I'm actually going to get rip off a little bit more of that. another page of it. And I also have a tan colored one. The only difference is, is this one is a 12 inch and the green one's nine. So what we're gonna have to do is cut it down. Let me get two sheets of this. We'll just go ahead and tear up one of the straight edges. We'll just do them in strips. I am not worried about how this is going to look. See, that's what can happen, but that's okay. We'll use that for scrap pieces of paper. And this one, like since it's curling up, don't worry about that. We'll fix it. 
when you're ripping and using the tear roller, the number one thing to, that I've learned about it is to make sure you hold as close to the roller as you can. That helps prevent going into the paper. So, let's see. Okay, so don't throw those scraps away. Just set them aside and we'll have them for something else. Because you can use this masking paper for a lot of different stuff. So I got six of those, three of those. Let's cut one more of these up. And I'm not going to need this much, but... When you're working in a group like this... It doesn't hurt to do, to do extras, because if you decide you want to do more or make another one, then just all that less work you have to do. And you already have it, you're already in the groove, so, so then you just want to try to roll this up the opposite way, and that kind of just flattens it out better than what it was. So it's not as curly going that way, in that direction. So you can do all of them together. Man, I need to quit saying that word so. What is up with that? I remember when I first started filming, I always said um. And that was very hard to break. And now, it, I'm saying that all the time. Wow. Let's see if I can come up with a different word. Okay, so you see how that works. You just do that and then it's not going to curl up as much. I mean, it's still going to do it to a point. I mean, you can't really stop it completely, but eventually you can train it to not want to do that. Alright, so we got our papers there, and we're going to use these green ones. We're going to lay down inside, and I lost the ones that I wanted to use. Here we go. So we're going to lay these ones down and then I'm not even going to ink around those because they do take time to do and I'm doing a video it's not really necessary. I'm just going to use some glue stick. And this is really thin paper, so it's excellent to use in this situation. To use as like a journaling, uh, I really put that one on, on wrong. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's try this again. I'm messing with the glue chunk that was on my... Okay, it, it seriously is not this hard. I had a glue goober that I was messing with. And you don't want that on there because it'll just put a big bump in your... Project. 
So let's try this again. There we go. Okay. Do the center one. This glue will help flatten it out as well. Do the last one. There we go. We got it all put down. And you can stop right here. This is, you know, looks good. That's your basis. You can go through, do, you know, a couple of these. Just have the insides done and ready to go. And then when you're ready to use it, you can go ahead and decorate it. So, uh... I'm just going to go ahead and decorate these. I am going to ink around these ones because, excuse me, I already inked around the other one. This way. Actually, I'm gonna put this way. Then we'll go ahead and put the other one on here. Remember to try to keep it as low as you can on this one due to the fact that the sticky part for your envelope is up the top. And if you end up going over it, it's not a big deal. You can... It just won't stick down, but you can, you can do a different closure. <clears throat> you can take... Uh, Uh, circle punch, let me just show you, just in case you don't have, say you have a regular envelope, you can do this with a regular envelope, like a tall envelope, let me find one of my hole punches, okay, so I'm not sure what one this is, I think it's a two inch, and we'll take a piece of find a piece of paper. I need a piece of cardstock. Okay, I have this one. It looks like lace. Doesn't. Whatever you have on hand. It can be plain. It can be decorative. So what you want to do is 
and cut this in half. You can also, when you're taking a notch out of uh, like a pocket or whatever, you can use that scrap piece. And for an example, you can have it right here and you can sew this down and then that'll keep it from coming up you know keep it shut so you'll just sew right around that right down there right there and then that'll help close the envelope as well i have some scrap pieces that i'm just going to put on there Get rid of this white. <clears throat> Put that right there. Oh, good thing I have more. Okay. Ink this up a little bit. Okay. Get this glued up. And this was just scraps left over from where I tear, tore off to make the other pages. That'll just go right here. That'll open up like that. And then it closes, and ours will close. Let me get my bone folder here. Can re. <clears throat> so then, what I'm gonna do. Is this is going to be a little bit fatter because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take four of these, alternate them, and I'm going to measure them just a little bit longer. Rip them off like that. Make sure they fit into here. I'm going to take this over to the sewing machine. did a I'm 
zigzag stitch across and close up my ink or my glue. And this little tablet is going to go inside. We're just going to use some Fabri-Tac. I'm going to hold it where I want it. I'm going to bend this up like this. Put the glue on it. Let that go down. And there's our little tablet. And I didn't care. I like the rustic kind of look of it. I prefer it to look like that. Um, if you don't, you can change it. And since it's really thin paper, it won't add the extra bulk to it. So then this is ready to go into a journal. And we use the rose paper in this one. So this one doesn't even have to be holiday themed. Even though I did get it from a holiday paper, it doesn't necessarily have to be a holiday theme. <clears throat> so it's going to puff out a little bit. Um, what you need to do is lay it between like a heavy book and it'll flatten it out. Like if you just put it on some under some weight, it'll thin it out and it won't be as wanting to expand. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my little tutorial on this bank envelope. I had fun making it and let me know what you guys think and I'm trying a little bit better to talk in front of the camera and not sound like I'm nervous or I can't do it. I don't have very good words most of the time. I'm very shy, reserved kind of person and so any, anywho. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will be back to share more with you. And until then, I will see you when I see ya. Later.